Gentle lady yields back. <clears throat> the gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Johnson, is recognized. Well, we oppose this amendment for lots of reasons, but um, it does present an opportunity to talk about the facts related to this issue. It was 50 years since Roe v. Wade was decided, and, and Democrats have failed to generate any widespread acceptance of their radical anti-life policies in state legislatures or in Congress. These are the facts. The American people do not support elective abortion on demand throughout all nine months of pregnancy, nor does any other country in the developed world, but Democrats in Congress do because they voted on that in the last Congress. The majority of Americans support reasonable restrictions on abortion. Most Americans do not support taxpayer funding for abortion. The majority of Americans do not believe abortion should be allowed after the first trimester. The vast majority of people in this country, 90%, believe it is possible to have laws that protect both the health and well-being of a woman and the sacred life of her unborn baby. The United States is one of only seven nations that allow elective abortion on demand after the 20th week of gestation, and the list also includes North Korea and China. In the last Congress, this committee, the Democrats on this committee, held three hearings on abortion. They used these hearings as an attempt to delegitimize the Supreme Court and its ruling in Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health, which overturned Roe, of course. Uh, the, the leak of the draft Dobbs opinion was unprecedented. No draft decision in the modern history of the court has been disclosed publicly while the case was still pending. The leak resulted in a harassment and intimidation campaign against the conservative justices themselves. It included illegal picketing outside of their residences, bounties for sightings of the justices in public, and even an assassination attempt upon one of them, Justice Kavanaugh. The leak also led radical anti-life fanatics to target, destroy, or vandalize over 100 pro-life facilities and churches. More than 2,700 pregnancy care centers nationwide serve millions of people annually. House Democrats never condemned all those actions. They never condemned the firebombing of the clinics and the destruction of churches and pro-life organizations. We had to pass a resolution on the floor uh, in order to do that. Um, this Congress, several weeks ago, I think we only got three Democrats in favor of that. In addition to publicly intimidating the court and conservative justices for issuing opinions that Democrats dislike, Democrats sought to politicize the court by introducing radical legislation to pack the court with four new left-wing justices. In response to the Dobbs leak, you introduced, uh, I introduced the Leaker Accountability Act, and, and that, that bill makes it knowing, uh, knowingly sharing confidential information from the Supreme Court a crime punishable by a fine of up to five years in prison. We have to do that because no action has been taken. We still don't know who the leaker was, and uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. We need legislation to do that. Um, look, this is an issue um, that is of great concern to us. It's an issue that now devolves to the states because of the Dobbs opinion. <clears throat> and I think that's where a lot of people believe it belongs. But um, there, is no, uh, there is no nationwide abortion ban that is on the books. It's not going to be. And this is a, uh, an, an, an amendment and an attempt to, um, to politicize the rules, which is exactly what our friends on the other side of the aisle have been saying. They Would do not want to do. Would yield no, for I won't a question? Yield. No, I won't yield. We're going to oppose the amendment because there's no place for it in the rules, and um, and I, I think it's uh, it speaks for itself of what it is.